My name is William Ilbudo and uh, I'm from Burkina Faso and uh, I'm the managing director of Isomet. Isomet is a company that I have implemented in uh, 1997. Uh, at that time I was still a student in Germany. Um, Isomet is working in the field of solar food processing and is a member of the International Solar Food Processing Network. In this frame, uh, Isomet is developing solutions for food processing in Africa, especially in West Africa. William, you have successfully implemented solar food processing projects. Could you briefly explain what you're doing in Burkina Faso? Indeed, we have implemented some projects here in the field of solar food processing. The main projects are uh, first the uh, solar bakery, uh, with uh, one oven right now functioning and producing something like 300 baguettes per day, uh, per hour. Okay. Uh, the capacity of this uh, bakery should be something like 10,000 small baguettes yeah. per day. Another project uh, will be the solar uh, she nut butter production unit, uh, located something like 30 kilometers from Ouagadougou in the village, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we are producing uh, something like one to two tons of butter per year. This project is a really interesting project for us because this is located in a village condition, and uh, we are really interested in seeing how it's going to work there. In the background, you can see the solar baking system composed out of the parabola and the solar oven. The sunlight is focused by the parabola in the solar oven where we have a temperature high enough to bake the bread. All this system has been produced here in Burkina Faso in our workshop. So now we are in our small bakery. As you can see, there is another batch of bread waiting to be baked with the power of the sun. Bread. Indeed, our bakery name is also Teredia, meaning taste of the sun in Jula, a local language. And now we are in Dabare. Uh, Dabare is a small uh, village, something like 30 kilometers uh, away from Wagadugu. Uh, Dabare is uh, the real uh, rural area, and we have a uh, production units here for she butter uh, with a capacity uh, about something like let me say uh, 60 to 70 kilo she butter per day uh, the unit is well used by the women that have been entrusted with it and uh, they are taking care of the unit uh, which is installed since uh, eight months about So William, tell us about your visions for solar food processing in Burkina Faso. Yeah, solar food processing is today not only a question of choice, it's a question of necessity. As you know, uh, we are slowly going in a phase where we are going to have a lack of fossil energy. We have to turn to the renewable energy. And for Burkina Faso, it's really important to start our development to start with food processing because this is the basic of uh, development in each country. We can achieve food security and also income generating activities in the village. This is why I think that we have to emphasize our action in the field of solar food processing in Burkina Faso and spread the idea of using renewable energy such as solar energy for the income generating activities and for the development in our country. So what will be your next steps? Yeah, uh, first at all, I have to say that the steps that we are in right now are really important because in this step we have to demonstrate the technical feasibility and the economical viability in small scale. After that, of course, uh, we have to scale up all this system and show to the people that an entrepreneur that wanna establish himself in a field of food processing can use the sun and make money with it also for bigger quantity. And uh, also we have to make the extension work of this technology. Show to everybody that is working and hope that uh, most people will adopt this technology and install it for a small solar revolution here in Burkina Faso.